Okay, so for question 8, a hair dryer which originally cost uh, $260 has a discount of 15% during a sale. What is the final price of the hair dryer including 8% GST? So earlier on, uh, for week 30, you all learned about like GST, discount, interest, and what's the other one? Uh? GST, discount, interest, and profit and loss, right? Okay, so this one involves discount and GST, like two different types of percentage. So 15% is talking about the discount, 8% is talking about GST. You cannot lump them together and say, oh, 15 plus 8. Cannot, cannot, okay? You have to treat them differently. Like, okay, we call it, uh, let, let me show you how, how you should view this. So first, your hair dryer is original price. So this is the 100%. If you're getting it at a discount of 15%, how many percent do you pay? Then you pay 100 minus 15, right? Which is 85%. So the original price in the, the one in blue, we call it the discount layer, okay? We just look at discount first. Original price is 100%. Then the price after the discount is 85%. Okay? So they gave us 260. 260 is original. So it starts here. So this is the discount layer. Then we're going to flow down to the next type of discount, which is the GST. Okay? So we're going down to the GST layer. If we talk about GST, this amount that we are going to calculate will flow down and that will be before GST. Haven't include GST yet. So before GST or without GST is always treated as 100%. So it's like you calculate the amount in dollars and then it will flow down that same amount in dollars. But you see, the percentage actually changes. It's like a reset. You reset it back to 100% again when you talk about a different type of percent percentage okay now with gst it will be do you pay more or do you pay less with gst gst means you pay more so with gst means it's 108 percent okay so let's start you must understand how these flow okay it's not it's not all the same type of percent uh all the same type of um don't treat all the percentage percentages as the same thing different Okay, so 260 is, we use unitary method, okay? If we start off with original prices, 260 is 100%. So it's like 100 units of that. Now, always find one unit, right? So we find 1%. 1% is 260 divided by 100. Then you want to get to the next box, you need to find 85%. So times 85, $2.60 times 85. So $221 here, right? You flow down, this same amount will actually go down. Ah, then this 221 now becomes 100% when we are talking about the GST layer. So uh, if you talk about GST layer, the discounted price is the amount here flows down. Then uh, 100% is 221 100% here we are at the orange or red layer 221 is 100% they always find 1% unitary method so you divide by 100 2.21 how do you get to the last box you need to find 108% so you take 2.21 times 108 Okay, so that's how you get the answer.